Uh, once again, there's the Razorback. We've got the little bit of speed boost coming right now from the Chaos Heretics praying. Assault Marines just charging in, knocking everybody this way and that. Ooh, popping some smoke as well. Yeah, that seems actually a little uh, ill-advised there, because um, I do believe that the smoke, I know it on, um, like, commandos and stuff, it does. Uh, for Razorback, I believe it does as well. Oh, this drain life is going to cost oh. Holy Hammer another scout squad. Scout squad. squad. <laughs> that goes down. That's not good at all. Uh, the Razorback now is looking a little bit exposed here. Uh, yeah, there come, come the, the Bloodletters. Blood no, they're a little bit... Oh, there we go. Okay. And they're getting some Corm Warship. Not quite enough. But the Force Commander is out. It's going to be able to help force them off. But I'm ching. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Maybe uh, over pushing here. Doesn't want to over push at this point. And we're actually seeing... By the way, CC-13 is going Tier 3. This Chaos uh, Havoc... Uh, heretics are getting wrecked now. There is only one out of eight of them remaining at this point. Oh, there we go. A little bit of the drain life going on there. Yeah, this is uh, probably one of the reasons. Upgrade. Probably one of the reasons here why uh, Holy Hammer did not put a huge importance on resurrecting that Force Commander, just uh, recognizing <laughs> what would go on here. Assault uh, Marines trying to help out a little bit. I mean, the Razorback is doing a pretty good job. It's certainly not taking that much damage. Uh, Assault Marines are going to knock around these Chaos Space Marines a little bit, but uh, this Chaos Lord is just a big, beefy jerk that he has to look out for. Uh, what remains interesting throughout, though, is that uh, Holy Hammer has done a pretty good job of map control here, uh, despite what's been going on. So he's going to be able to make a pretty good push on the generators here. Um, CC-13 doesn't have that much power that he can just completely coast off what he's got into Tier 3. So uh, if we can go... If, um, my bad. If Holy Hammer can go ahead and do a, a pretty good bash here, we could really see uh, a significant... I guess we could say that um, we must reverse the course be a very possibly bad choice here by CC-13 to go Tier 3 uh, if this bash is successful. But it looks like he'll get back and defend it in time. Yeah, just taking out the power node there for the time being. Again, using that smoke, I guess, I go, okay, that time it makes sense because he's covering his retreat, so that's cool. Yeah, I mean, actually, the, the first time it made sense too, but uh, it was a little um, premature, I guess, would be the way to put it because it ended up that uh, he popped smoke and I uh, ended up putting him in a position where uh, he really would have preferred to have had the damage per second output rather than losing some of the damage per second in order to pop the smoke. Because uh, smoke reduces incoming and outgoing damage. Librarian is on the field right now. Ooh, like once again, using the smoke, covering his retreat, uh, using the uh, assault marines there to really knock back everybody. Again, I really like... CC-13's use of uh, heretics just kind of worshipping. He's not, he never hesitates to throw that up right in the middle of a battle. Especially with yeah. the bloodletters charging everybody down, getting healed. Uh, big stuff there. Ooh, blinking behind the Devastators. Getting some rear armor hits on this Rhino as well. Yeah, again, I, I very much like the uh, positioning of that particular teleport there with bloodletters because uh, basically he targeted the Devastator with it and he knew that uh, that was a, a valid and viable target but that he could follow up targeting the Devastator there uh, by going for the rear armor hits on the Razorback. Uh, Mr. Chaos Lord is all over here on the far left by himself, and we do have a Chaos Predator coming out right now, uh, whereas we just have a single scout uh, being produced right now by Holy Hammer. So uh, Chaos Predator will take care of that Rhino pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, and that was really the key. I think it basically was the game, uh, unfortunately, when... Uh, Holy Hammer attempted to go ahead and push up on the generators uh, up here earlier, and he only managed to get the node. If he had been able to take out all of the generators, he may have been able to stall uh, the power production of CC-13 enough, because uh, so he's only about at 60 power at that point. He could have made it take about three to four times as long, at a bare minimum, for that Chaos Predator to get out. may have given himself some more time to go ahead and get some better counters, but uh, unfortunately he just was not able to do that. And uh, this Chaos Predator should have no issue coming out now, dealing with the Razorback and cutting uh, other key support components for Holy Hammer through here. Really strong looking presence here. You can see that these Assault Marines are just kind of messing around, but they have to get out of there. Oh, nice looking shot coming out of Librarian, but again, force overwhelming on this side of the map right now. Uh, I think pretty much Holy Hammer is just kind of reacting to the fact that, oh crap, there's a Chaos Predator on the battlefield right now, and it's just going to have oh, to get man. the heck on out of there. And the Razorback there, trying to get away from these Bloodletters, but uh, its own unit's retreat pathing <laughs> proven a little problematic for it. A little self gosu blocking going on there. Uh, we finally get to see some shots being fired by this Chaos Predator here. I just want to see it just go straight for the uh, Rhino, of course, myself. Oh, but he's just going to pick off his Force Commander. Poor guy. 
Well, the Captain Diomedes is just uh, running back as quickly as he can there. Run, Grandfather Diomedes, run! <laughs> I hear you, go ahead. Anyhow, so in terms of victory points, uh, it is still Holy Hammer's game uh, somewhat. I mean, he does have two to one, but he's really far behind now. He's at least twice as far behind. Uh, or twice as far. The di you know what I was trying to say here. CC13 yeah. is twice as far ahead of him as you. Whatever, I don't care. Life drain going on right now, and the task of Marines uh, being discarded. Uh, we do have lightning claws up as well uh, for Mr. Chaos Lord there, so that could be pretty good. Uh, again, constantly using that worship. I love it. Helping out his retreating units, helping out his current units. Uh, yeah, the oh, Devastator was upgraded to a last cannon as well. Yeah, that will help fight the uh, tank here, and actually, um, it, it unfortunately will also hurt just kind of the general battle flow here as well. We've seen uh, it, it's been a little painful for Holy Hammer trying to cope with the loss of the suppression from that Devastator, but uh, at the same time, um, you know, having had that out there for the suppression allowed him to get that uh, up for the last cannon to you know make this Predator just a little less painful. And here it comes. It looks like it looks like a. A good push is going to come into the center here. Perhaps uh, Bloodletter is maybe going to warp right on top of those Devastators. Yes, they are. Leading the charge here, allowing that Predator to come in and perhaps take, take some shots at this Razorback, which unfortunately has its rear armor out there. Uh, do you see oh a melt man, that melee here. skill there. The special attack went down, almost forced the wipe of the Devastator squad, but they did get into the Razorback uh, before they were taken out. Speedy Lightning Claw Terminator just charging around right now. Uh, pretty good shots went off onto that Razorback, but still it was not quite enough. Uh, the Chaos Predator did have to back out of there. And now this, this uh, Chaos Lord is looking quite wounded. Yeah, we should probably again point out that uh, the Razorback does have its reinforced armor plate and upgrades. So it is at 600 health, and actually it's level 2, so it's 640 health. Uh, max health, I should say. But oh, it, the Chaos Predator may be able to get another shot off here, but no, it takes it on the Tactical Space Marines instead of the Razorback. And oh, the Predator goes down! Wow! From the Devastator. Extra squad. shots from the Devastator with the uh, with the uh, time ability upgrade there. I'm sorry, with the Veil of Time buff on him. Yeah. Oh that was uh, that was totally unsurprising. <laughs> I mean, that was totally surprising right there uh, that he was able that, to get out of there and kill that. That thing. is uh, incredibly huge. Here, so actually, we do see that a well, the Heretic Squad escapes with one out of eight. But uh, what has effectively happened here for CC13? If we look at his resources, um, he has plenty of power. But on the requisition... Oh, Mida lagging a little bit. What's this now? <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, what's happening with uh, CC13 right now is that he's having a little bit of economic stall. Uh, he's basically been taking so many attrition losses that he hasn't been quite able to do uh, anything with that. Oh, uh, and the Chaos Lord goes down in the middle of all of that. Uh, and that's by just the another, another attrition loss that he can't afford. Uh, now, granted, uh, Holy Hammer just lost his last cannon Devastator to some blood letters, but uh, you know that's an affordable loss because I don't see any way here that CC13, without not reviving his um, Chaos Lord, uh, without um, you know not replacing a lot of key units, I just don't see how he's going to get any kind of vehicle out that would really make the last cannon Devastator matter at this point. In fact, the lack of upkeep uh, that. Holy Hammer has, would have to pay. Uh, may actually be a, <laughs> a boon to him. So uh, we'll certainly see how that works out. But yeah, Holy Hammer is more than back in this game. Yep. I really had cast Holy Hammer out totally. of this Losing, losing that Predator and having him keep the Razorback, uh, that, the Predator was like the big, big force on the field right now for CC13. And, and uh, all that has just changed everything around. He either has to get something else like that. And uh, since he's so low on resources and taking so many losses, it's not going to happen anytime soon. So uh, Holy Hammer's got quite a window of opportunity here. Yeah, and uh, meanwhile we are seeing that uh, the Havocs here are in danger from this Thunderhammer Force Commander. Oh, There's God. There's only six health left on the one, but I don't think the Force Commander is just stuck so deep in that sink kill. I don't think it's <laughs> It's like a 30-second sink kill right there. Oh, oh, but he's trying to get the Librarian over to Smite, maybe. No, I don't think he has enough energy Come for on, Smite. Yeah, he's kind of low. 43. Oh, well. Really close right there. He did uh, try. Anyhow. 
Now, hopefully, you can see he's just kind of he's kind of like circling around like a shark right now. You know, he wants to go for the power generators. He knows that's the right move, and uh, it looks like CC13 is well aware of that too. Is just kind of camping out around his precious three power generators. So, uh, definitely, definitely huge advantage right now to Holy Hammer. Just kind of you can see he's just kind of testing defenses right now, kind of looping around the map, just looking for any any good in way here. You know, honestly, if you look at the amount of power that CC13 has, he has like 220 something power. Uh, I don't think the generators are his primary concern. His bigger concern at this point should be requisition points. Uh, those are going to help offset his <laughs> He's upkeep. He's got none of those, too, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and that's his biggest issue. He has nothing to offset his upkeep at the moment. Um, so that's why he only has 186 income uh, per minute for requisition, which is very, very low. Uh, tier three is very just ooh, that was good. Tier three is just about complete for Holy Hammer here, but uh, yeah. yeah, any loss good. right now uh, for CC thirteen is hard to replace. Ooh, Idol of Corn just upgraded on the Chaos Lord as well. So that will allow him to uh, get uh, health by partaking in melee combat. Now this Razorback finally in a, a bad spot here. Oh, getting picked uh, off one more not, shot. Yeah, it's not going to be able to get out of this. It tries, Boom. but it dies. Salt Marine's a little late on that, but still going to be able to put some pressure on that last cannon Ooh, chaos happy spot there. Oh, we got the librarian at a huge Oh no! Surrounded life in life drain. He He's gets down. He taken out! Oh my gosh, this game is full of twists and turns just when you think that someone's won or someone else <laughs> lost. This is horrific! Oh my god, all of Holy Hammer's advantage right now is gone. He's just lost way too many squads here. The very last assault squad just barely getting out of there. Uh, but that's humongous! <laughs> The Boy, moral just, like, story total game reset is don't here. click the tier 3 button. Yeah, total game reset here at this point. Uh, Voice Commander just leveling up, but he is really low in hit points. Uh, definitely going to be able to get on out of there. Uh, as for these tactical marines, they are looking in really poor shape here as well. Yeah, they were trying to use and they shall know so shall know no fear to get out, but uh, not able to... He oh, calls in a Terminator they, squad they on top did, of they've everything. They've got assault Terminators of all things, and uh, they're just going to kind of sit here at... Uh, and uh, who, who, oh, okay. Uh, and CC Holy Hammer won that, I guess. Yeah, uh, Holy yes. Hammer won. Wow, so um, <laughs> despite just getting decimated in that battle, Holy Hammer just, holds on. Yeah, man, that was, God, okay. That, was, that caught us all by surprise. I did not expect Void to drop right there. I expected him to at least fight it out. Granted, he was down three points, uh, and that was, they just exchanged a lot of blows. I think those Terminators were just about to clean house there.